Classifying systems of linear equations from graphs. I have provided three different examples for you to make this particular topic easy. As you can see from the first example here, I actually have two lines. Now it's kind of hard to see, but I kind of did stagger it to where you can kind of see a little bit of the blue there. Um, but on the graph, these two lines actually are drawn on top of each other. So when they're drawn on top of each other, that means every single point is a solution. Um, the way that I like to explain this in regards to dependent and independent is I use uh, kids as an example. So when you have toddlers, they like attaching to you and following you everywhere. You can't do anything without that toddler being right there. Okay, in this example, that's kind of how these lines are. They're together all the time. So therefore, they're dependent on each other. And again, since they are consistent, meaning that they touch, every single point is a solution. So they have infinite many solutions. The next graph here, we've got two visible lines. And I like to think of this as when they are in middle school. They're kind of becoming independent, but they still need you. They still want to have you around for those, you know, mom, I need this, or dad, I need this moments, okay? And so while they're visibly independent, they still touch, okay? And I've used green as our example here. And the point that they touch here, that's our solution, okay? Remember that it's X and Y. So we're going to go over, you know, remember our X is left and right. So we're going to go over, and in this case, it looks like 2. And then we're going to go up, and here it looks like it's 3. Okay, so this is our solution. This is the point in which these lines intersect. This bottom graph, we have two visible lines. Okay, this is when they are independent. Okay, this also is inconsistent because they do not touch at all. And since they do not touch, we have no solution. So I'm going to pull up Alex here just so that way, uh, kind of make this easier for you because when you look at this, it kind of looks a little overwhelming. But one of the things that I want to point out, ignore the equations. We don't need to know the equations uh, for this particular topic. We just need to look at these graphs. So looking at this graph, the first example we have here is we've got two lines and they don't touch. Okay, well looking at the information I gave you, well if I've got two lines and they don't touch, it's inconsistent, independent. So I'm gonna look here, okay, I've got inconsistent. So I'm gonna select that. And over here, it says unique solution, no solution, infinite, infinite many. Well, since they don't touch, there's no solution. Our next graph here, we've got two lines. They're visible, but they still touch, so it's consistent, independent, okay? And they touch at one particular spot, so it's got a unique solution. We're going to select that, and we've got to fill in the blanks, okay? So looking at this, it looks like it's going to be negative 1, and it looks like it's going down. One, two, three, down negative to negative three. And then our last graph here is consistent dependent because both the lines are stacked on top of each other and it's infinite many solutions. So all you need to do is kind of match this information up with each of the graphs. Of course, click check and it says correct.